Hi everyone, so I'm back. It's been a long time, but I am back. Um, this video I'm going to do a review of a gig I went to last Wednesday, which was a band called Futures. Um, they were playing in Cardiff in a fairly small intimate venue called Cl Club Ifolba. Uh That's my Welsh accent for you, and it translates into the Welsh Club in English. So, a little bit about the venue, if you haven't been there before. It's very small, as I say. There's two rooms that are used for gigs. You've got the smaller room upstairs, which looks effectively like quite a small, cosy pub environment, and then you've got a bigger room downstairs in the basement, um, which has got a slightly bigger capacity. Futures did play in the smaller room upstairs, which was good because you get much closer to the band, you feel like you're more involved in the music and what's going on. Um, actually, if you've ever gone in there, the bar space actually takes up <laughs> probably most of the room. Um, it's quite a big corner bar. But anyway, I don't know what I'm talking about where the alcohol served. So, you get in there, and I'm not sure how many people it holds. It can't be any more than maybe... I want to say 150, but I've got a really bad ability to gauge how many people are in a room at any given time. But I'd say really not many people at all, which makes for a really good gig experience, I guess. Um, so, I'm going to review Futures. I'd seen them once before. Um, it was as a support act for Boys Like Girls and Shepherds Bish Umpire um, earlier this year, and I did actually review them as part of my review of that gig on my blog, so you can take a look at that if you're interested to see what I thought the first time round. And they're actually one of very few bands that I've actually got into after I've seen them live. Um, most bands I go to see, um, I've heard s at least a few of their recorded tracks beforehand, <coughs> either intentionally I go look at them if I see they're a support band just interested to see what their sounds like I'll check them out before I see them but Futures when I saw them earlier this year hadn't heard one song um, and when I saw them they made a really big impact on me if you read the review you'll see that I was a really really big fan of them afterwards um, the energy they have and the way it bounces back off the crowd I just thought they were great um, take it back to the time I saw them last Wednesday, completely different environment obviously, Shepherd's Bush Empire is quite large, it's got many levels um, of balconies, quite a big standing area and suddenly you're stood in this small intimate, as I say, kind of like a pub environment. Um, in some ways it did affect some of the reaction from the crowd, I mean there's literally no stage, there's no differentiation between the stage and the floor space where the crowd are. Um, so literally on a level playing field with them, which is really nice, but it just like, they were really limited, any band that plays there is really limited at how much they can move, because each member of the band are literally sitting, <laughs> sitting, they're standing in each other's pockets, because there's just no, there's no movement space, because if you made the area they play in much bigger, I guess you could fit even less people in, which is not great. Um... But that's not, that's not necessarily a negative point about the band, it's just a case of, I think, you know, the energy of Shepherd's Bush is completely different, um, because the band just haven't got the space to really move a lot. Um, but the band themselves did impress me again. I was stood towards the back, actually stood up on one of the bar seats, because I'm fairly small if you've met me in real life. <coughs> and it gave me a good shot, actually of all of them. Um, they opened with 16. Um, obviously they've only had one EP out so far. I believe their album, their full length studio album, is due to be released next year sometime. Um, they only just got signed to a record label back in June 2010, which is great news for them. But they were, they were, they were making it on their own steam before that, when they were unsigned. So, but it's still great news that they got signed. Um, sorry. I'm speaking too much without taking a breath. <coughs> Excuse me. The thing about the guys, and they're just really, they've got this kind of effervescence that they give off, that even though they were on such a small playing space to perform to everyone, it was something that radiated back into the crowd, and it was, it's just, I don't know, I mean, there wasn't, I didn't think there was much movement in the crowd, and a lot of people were singing along the whole time, so there's definitely a lot of love for them there. I don't know, it was really odd because you would imagine, you know, part of the way you gauge how good a reaction is, how much people move or dance or whatever, it's not all about singing, I guess. But 
and there's just something about it this it just makes them really special it's that certain je ne sais quoi you can't quite put your finger on but yeah it's really weird and this is probably making for a bit of a weird review because I'm kind of not really being specific but I think that's what's special about them you're not quite sure what it is but the way their music comes across live it's it's really exciting and you sense the excitement and even though maybe you're not going crazy and jumping around like a lunatic you're really appreciating it and everyone in that room appreciated them um, I mean I looked around at people and there was quite a wide age range actually and they all looked like they were enjoying themselves while their futures were playing and I mean obviously obviously the song of the night that absolutely everyone in that room knew um, was The Boy Who Cried Wolf, their most well-known track and inevitably it got the biggest response of the night, it was really good um, and actually came into the crowd or at least he said that he was going to come in so everyone had to make a circle pit which was a bit kind of an anticlimax because no one was really making any sort of pit the whole night anyway but he came into the crowd which was really nice because although really you felt like they were part of the crowd anyway because of this level playing field it was nice it kind of felt like you know not all bands have to be like this hierarchy with the crowd they don't have to be these big superstars up there and okay loads of front men come into the crowd they dive into the crowd they crowd surf whatever but I don't know it's just something about the, the size of the venue and the type of band that they are they just seem like regular guys and it's really refreshing because there's no egos there they make great music they deliver the music great live and you're just left with a smile on your face and it's really good the only thing and it's not a negative to the band at all um and the only thing i would come back to is the fact that i wish they could have had a bit more space to really put themselves across the way i know they can from when i've seen them before um because i think I don't know, there's a certain synergy in their songs that I think need to kind of explode a bit more than they had room to. But as I say, it's not a negative for the band because when they tour next I will definitely go and check them out again. Um, and I really look forward to hearing their new material. So after all that I'll leave you to watch um, a video that I did during the evening last Wednesday and this is the boy who cried wolf. See ya! Be our guest, be our guest, put our surface to the test. Tie your napkin around your luxury and we'll provide the rest. Yeah, it looks like I'm just showing you my breasts.